Good morning, fish fans. This is Captain Mark Hollywood Johnson here in beautiful Ala Mirada, Florida Keys with the boys from Salt Strong. And today, this morning, we're gonna talk about boating navigation for dummies. So here in Ala Mirada, like anywhere else in South Florida, we have an abundance of markers. A lot of people aren't sure what the markers mean. So over here on my right shoulder, you will see standard markings for United States Coast Guard that they do on all of our waterways in South Florida. All right. So the two most common colors you see, red and green. So the basic rule of thumb when you are navigating a boat, when you have red and green, stay in between. You can't mess that up. So that's the easy part. But you don't always have two markers side by side. So the boating rule of thumb is red right return. So what that means is that when you're returning from sea to your home port, you want to keep that red marker on your right side, also known as your starboard side. So if you look over my right shoulder and you look down the channel, the beautiful water colors, the green shows the deep water, the brown shows the shallow flats. So as you look down this channel, your marker is on your right hand side. That is how you would navigate this channel all the way to the end of the bay there. Red right return is the most important rule to remember when you have your different markers anywhere you travel. Now, with that being said, the hang up point is, is that local navigation channels, little private channels for marinas, things of that nature, who only knows how they set those up? But the United States Coast Guard, Merchant Marine, all the guys that put the markers out for real, the most confusing part is where is your home port? Where are you returning to? So here in Ala Mirada, even in Miami, and I believe as far north as Palm Beach, when you are traveling the intercoastal or any major waterways in which the United States Coast Guard is in charge of your markers, Key West is your home port. So even though you might be four hours away from Key West, the whole red and green placement, whether it's in Hawks Channel on the ocean side or the intercoastal in the bay side, is all gonna be based on your home port. Now, here, where you have these local channels, even though we are technically leaving our marina and we're going out to sea to go fishing, this channel is a continuation from the ocean to the bay. So to pick this channel up from where it starts out in the ocean, your red marker is on your starboard side. And as you come under the bridge in continuation, this channel goes all the way through to the bay. The red marker stays on your right. Now, another thing about these markers, you will notice they're in two different colors, two different shapes, and they're numbered odd and even. So I get asked why? So things that you would think about is that what if somebody's colorblind? What if you're out here in a low light condition or you're looking into the sun or a rainstorm or whatnot and you have terrible visibility? You might not be able to make out a color, but you can make out a shape. So the red marker is always triangle. Green marker is always a square. As far as being odd and even, that is to help you navigate on your charts and it just gives you a proper authentication to all your markers through the Coast Guard. So you have, once again, you have the shape, the color, and the numbers. But by and large, the most important rule for navigation for dummies is red right return. So over my right hand shoulder, you see we have the two different markers, red and green. And that's easy, remember red and green stay in between. Now you look a little bit to the west and you'll see only one red marker all by itself. So now you ask yourself, what do I do? So remember the red, right, return, triangle return, okay? So there is no green marker opposite the red, but if you're coming down the channel and you're returning to port, the red marker is always on your starboard side. The other benefit here is that the watercolors we have. I can't stress enough how polarized glasses make all the difference in the world in boating navigation. Where you see this beautiful green water, green, green, nice and clean, brown, brown, run aground. 
So once again, if you had no idea what that marker was telling you, and you can at least identify your water colors, you could safely navigate that channel. Red, right, return, green, green, nice and clean, brown, brown, run aground, blue, blue, run on through. Those right there, my friend, are the easiest ways to be an expert at boating navigation for dummies. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wet a line today